Good evening and welcome back once again. So today we are away to Sporting de Gijon. We've got Ruben Castro up top, he's on and up. Martinelli, the new captain, on the left with Diaby on the right. Midfield of Mariba coming in place of Bellingham. Kangen Lee and Pedri in the attack midfielder positions. We've got Schubert in goal, who's on and up as well. Trippi is back in the squad. He's on a little bit of a down, but I am going to start my right back. And Kosunu with Ogbonna replacing Gvardiol just to give him a little bit of a rest. And Zirkov at left back. Back in the league today and we've got this match, another league match and then we've got a home match against Chelsea in the Champions League. Probably the biggest match in that group stage. Now just in case you missed it in the last video, we did get an offering for Cousins which we went back with them to say that wasn't enough money. Um, and they came back and they've pretty much given them the market value of Cousins. Now remember we got them on a free a while back. So we've made a profit. Um, well, hang on a minute. Could be in here. He has Mar Oh, I thought Martinelli was in there. I will get back to what I was saying before <laughs> in a moment. Here's Trippier. Nice ball in. <sighs> And again, so I just couldn't quite get there. But yeah, looking at Cousin's improvement graph, it looks like it's pretty much leveling off now. So he's not really going to improve. He's not going to leave the club until January. So we've got a, a good couple of months more to have him in the squad. And it means we can potentially maybe get a regen or a youngster in to fill his position. He's not going to play as much as he used to anyway because we've got the likes of Pedri in, Kang and Lee and Fabio Vieira in that attacking midfield position and we've basically changed the formation to have two attacking midfielders now. Oof. Which means that of course it's not always going to be two attacking midfielders, we may change it for certain matches. Pretty much leaves one spot for the likes of Herrera, Bellingham who we've just bought Mariba and of course Cousins. Nice ball and it's wide. Trippy has already caught quite a few assists this season. Should have had one there. And of course remember we have got some youngsters coming back in in January from loan. I believe Fernandinho was only a six month loan, so he should be coming back in in January. So there's another sort of central midfield position over defensive mid. That's a foul. And there is a couple of uh, very, very high quality regions in that position that I've been looking at. <sighs> Absolutely thumping challenge. I don't know how it's not a free kick. That's not a great ball. Ooh. Well, why did he... Why did he do that? He should have just left it. He should have got the ball back there. Not quite sure what's going on here. <laughs> it's very scrappy at the moment. Here's Pedri though. Now DRB. Ah, the wrong pass there really. Going backwards. That was definitely the wrong pass. Ah, it's poor. Poor decision making for me. Good defending from Cotonou. Nice ball to Kang Elite. Pedri, Ruben Castro, Giobi, Castro, oh, just about got the shot away. And it's in, Giobi gets the rebound, Castro was a little bit unlucky, but Giobi pounced. You see the ball out wide to Zirkov, it's a nice ball in. Yeah, it was just a little bit too high for Castro. Could work from Diaby. 
I don't know if Castro will get an assist there. I don't know if I hit a defender after it came off Castro. So it hits Castro. I'm not sure. Castro might get the assist. Probably not. Got the opener though. Um, and like I said in the last video, we haven't been at our fluent best. And I think we're just trying to get used to... A lot of the formations very similar. But it's slightly different. And we've got a few new personnel in which can disrupt your... Uh, team chemistry a little bit. Temporarily, obviously. Oh, nice work there. Pedri. <laughs> what a goal from Pedri. That's his second for the club. What a player he is. And if you haven't been watching the past few videos, we've signed him on loan. But we do have an option to make it permanent. Um, we're just waiting for enough funds. We've got him on loan for a year, so we've got plenty of time. And by my reckoning, we'll have enough money. Um, I've actually got enough in the transfer budget it's just the salary budget um but that should increase to the required amount probably by february i'm gonna say brilliant finish and as soon as we meet that threshold because the salary is extremely high it's like 26 million a year which is astronomical you know the likes of martinelli who is 86 rated, so he's technically our best player. I think he's our best play player. I think he is on 4 million. Um, and I think if I offered him a new contract now, he would he would ask for around about 6. So that just goes to show how far beyond Pedri is in terms of salary. 26 million. Crazy money, but uh, I think it's worth it. Here's trip yet. Great ball in. And Kang and Lee gets his head on it. I'm not sure, but that might be the first that he scored for the club. Trippier already, though, has got to be one of the sign best signings we've ever made. The impact he's had. We sold Emerson, who, you know, is 83 rated right back. And he just didn't quite do it for me. I don't know why. He just never got the that many assists or goals that he should have got um, Trippy already has got more assists than I think Emerson had the whole of last season and I th I'm pretty sure it is above that I think that might be his 4th assist 5th assist unbelievable um, and of course we've got Debushi to come back in and I think Kieran Trippy now is going to be first choice right back he clearly is now because he's the only technical Technically, the the only right back we've got at the moment. But hang on a minute, here's Pedri again. Pedri, that's ah, wide. He's very good on his left foot, mine Pedri. I know that was wide, but he's got two very good feet. But yeah, Debushi coming back in. I think Kieran Trippier will be number one. Um, Debushi as the backup, and of course on the left side we've got Baka and now Zirkov. Who Zirkov's brilliant as well. He scored a couple of cracking goals. Don't think this season, but last season he scored a couple of really good goals. So I think we're pretty much set for wing backs, unless someone amazing comes along, like a regen of someone unbelievable. Did you see that? The referee blew his whistle before I even tackled. I don't know if you saw that. That just goes to show you. Oh, beautiful ball through to DRB. He's kind of went the wrong way. It's giving trip here again, though. Beautiful ball again, and it's another assist. Castro with the finish. A really nice volley. But that's another assist for Trippier. And Diaby and Trippier have developed a relationship, a really good chemistry already. Look at that ball. Emerson would never put in a ball like that. What a cross, but a brilliant finish. Great little volley there. It's nearly half time. And remember, Trippy is actually on a slight down today. So that's him not even at his best. Go 
Good tackle from Ogbonna, and that's half time. And by the way, Castro did get an assist for early on where it sort of hit him on the head slash shoulder. And uh, Diaby tapped it in, so that's good. And Trippier actually had two assists already in this game. Um, I don't know why I didn't realise that. Oh, nearly a nice port of more. Nearly it was just fractionally under hit. But the pressure counts. This is more like our usual selves. The amount of goals we're getting, the chances, the quality. Diaby. Oh. Good block from the defender there. Just wide. And I know Trippy is taking corners sometimes, but he's only got a couple of assists from that. A lot of the assists he's been getting um, have been outfield, like genuine assists. What a player he is. Thing about the mass league as well, you know, you, you do buy players and sometimes ooh, they got lucky there. Sometimes you buy a player and you don't really know how they're gonna play until you get them. And overall stats doesn't always mean that they're gonna be a good player. Martinelli Ah You know you can get three or four players and they're all say eighty rated. And they'll all play very, very differently. And that's what I love about Pez. Um, you know, Castro is not even an 80-rated player yet. He's our number one centre forward. Because he, he plays... He doesn't play like a... What is he, 74 rated? Maybe more than that now. Um, he plays way more than his stats would say, I think. Kang and Lee here. Here's Castro. Oh, that's straight the keeper. Shouldn't have jinxed him, should I? It's an ambitious throw. And it doesn't come off. Nice play, Castro now. Kept it nicely for Diaby. Castro. Pedri. Oof. Make some subs. So Herrera's going to come on for Kang and Lee. Mariba's going to push up a bit further the pitch. Martinelli's going to come off for Zerg. So you're going to switch Ruben Castro to the left. And Mudrick's going to go to the right in place of Diaby. Yeah, I wasn't sure who to bring off whether it was Martinelli or Castro. They're both a little bit down on energy. Um, yeah, decided to keep Castro on and switch him out to the left. Let's see how that goes. Zixi now. Oh, nice play to Castro. Should have scored. It was just a bit of a heavy touch. That that pass from Zixi was absolutely outstanding because then he's just come on. Play it pretty calmly there, out the back. Good tackle. And we get a little bit lucky there. That could have come off us and went out for a throw. A throw? A throw, even. Trippier has got to be one of the... He won't be man of the match, but he's got to be one of the higher rated ones. Pedri's been great as well. Why do I do that? Why do I say that when I'm on the ball with a player? I shouldn't, because every time I do, it goes wrong. Here's Herrera. Very solid player. A really nice little ball to trip yet. Oh, Zixi. Oh, Zixi. You shouldn't be offside there. You don't need to be offside. You don't need to be right on the edge of the, the shoulders of the defender. You just need to be in space. Take the ball. Lay it off to Castro. Here's 
Sexy. Castro again. Sexy. Modric. Good effort. Tight angle. Couldn't really do much else, and there wasn't any support. Just wide from Pedri. Again, a nice ball in from Trippier. He's, I know I keep saying it, but he is just unbelievable. Oops, bounce off Castro there. Nicely kept though. And nicely got back there. Nice. Uh, bit tired. You can see that in that movement there. Good tackle from Zirkov. Oh, it's got to be a foul. How is that not a foul? He's absolutely taken him out from behind. There's no way that should be allowed. Beautiful play, but Castro is absolutely out on his feet. You can see that they just can't run. Not his fault, he's putting a hell of a shift today. Here's Castro though. And again, absolutely taken out. I know he got some of the ball, but... How a ref. Have some consistency. Taken out again there. Pedri now. Modric. Pedri. Oh, straight at the keeper. Fiercely struck though. That's probably going to be full time. Don't think there's going to be any more chances. You never know. You never know. Castro, and he has got the goal. One last chance, and he's got it. He's absolutely out on his legs. It's the second of the day. Win the ball back here with Zirkov. Nice run from Mariba. A simple ball across and tapped in. Oh, and that will be 5 0 and full time. Brilliant stuff. How Trippy has only got a 6.5, I don't know. But look at those ratings. Pedri 7, Kangan Lee 7, Giorbi Castro 7.5, Martinelli with a 6.5. The subs came on and did a great job. They got 6s as well. Brilliant stuff. But yeah, I think Trippier, I knew he wasn't going to get man of the match, but I think he should have been the second best player. But that's it for today, guys. We're going to have some tired bodies because there's quite a few matches coming thick and fast. First at home to Espanyol, then at home to Chelsea in the Champions League, and then a massive and away tie at the new camp against Barcelona back in the league. So going to be a lot of rotation needed for that. So join us for those. Hit that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you all next time. Cheers.